All right, it's time for some cool stuff. So this is actually the second time me trying to record this video and that's a story for another day, but I'm gonna jump right into this, okay? So the first thing that I wanna show you is, <laughs> it's gonna be kind of hard to see. So I'm gonna take a picture of it and you'll see it in this corner over here but I am still gonna put it in front of the screen. Just, you know, this whole green screen thing is it's not universal. I just want you to know that it doesn't work for everything. So I have something here that's mostly green. So it's gonna show up very weird on the screen, but I still wanna share it. Like I said, you have the picture, but this is Boba Fett. <laughs> this is a plushie. He is so cool. So many details on him, his little helmet. The little pack on the back is the real thing. You can't see it that well, but he has this little rocket here. And if you push on the little pack, the little rocket just like it's, it is like, it, there is nothing projectile about this whatsoever. It's absolutely adorable how non-threatening this little rocket is, but it's just so cute. So he has a permanent place on the new shelf that my husband just built for us, which I'll include a picture of that as well, just in case you're not following on Instagram. And so, yeah, I just wanted to share that he's adorable. So let's get into some of the other things that I have. Let's talk about some of the books. All right, so this one, I can't remember if I shared it or not. I got this a long time ago, completely forgot about it. Um, it's been tucked away somewhere and I pulled it out the other day as we were putting books on our shelves. And so I thought I would share it just in case I haven't. And here it is. Um, this book is the follow-up to the Wicked series. Um, I loved the Wicked series. And so this is like a spinoff following the granddaughter of the Alphaba character. And honestly, whenever I have like a series that I'm just like crazy about like this, I dive into it head first. But I have been hesitant to read this, not because of any reviews or anything that I, there's something in me like, I don't know. This is one of those books that I'm either going to love it or I'm going to be terribly, drastically disappointed. And this is, again, have no justification for this whether I haven't read reviews or heard anybody talk about it or anything like that. It might be absolutely great, but I've just been apprehensive to read it. And I don't know why. I have issues, y'all. All right, so let's look at the next book. So this is the graphic novel by Alicia Keys, co-written by Andrew Weir illustrated by Brittany Williams. I've seen it all over social media. I'm not usually the kind of person to buy something just because of hype, but I mean, it's a black girl with superpowers and it's a graphic novel. So, you know, I'm down. <laughs> I was able to get a good deal on it. Um, so, and I like the way that it's illustrated. So I'm all for it. Uh, of course, I do actually have to read it and see if I really, really like it. Um, it's gonna be very hard for me not to like this story but I'm, I'm excited about it. I mean, if nothing else, it's going to look awesome on my bookshelf. I mean, it says Girl on Fire. So, I mean, I just keep hearing Alicia Keys singing that song and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to love this. All right. The next little thing I want to share, this is, I know you're probably like, why are you sharing that anyway? Um, I'm going to try not to go on too long with that. I try about this, but I feel like that I have limited myself a lot when it comes to technology. And I used to love embracing technology and I got to get back into it. I feel like I've limited myself by there are certain things that I only do on my iPad. Um, I am slowly starting to realize that, you know, I have these super computers that fit in my purse and fit in my pocket. I need to start using them accordingly um, to be um, productive, to be efficient. I got to start doing more things on my phone, doing more things on my iPad, you know, and when my company gave me an opportunity to get a um, keyboard for my iPad, I jumped at it. So here's my little iPad keyboard. And again, I know you guys are probably thinking that's not exciting, but it's exciting for me because it's an opportunity for me to break out of my comfort zone. Um, there are times when I have to, you know, go into the office and do things and I lug my um laptop with me and so i gotta start embracing the technology more so i mean of course i use my phone and my ipad every day all day for like emails and social media and videos and stuff like that but like i can actually be productive with it so i just to share that with you all right so let's see what else i have here 
let's look at some of our vinyl that we got. Ooh, here we go. Sharon Jones, 100 Days. This one has taken quite a while to arrive. Um, my husband paid for it six or eight months ago. And when it didn't come, Amazon realized that it was like a mistake. So they gave us a digital download of the content and one of her other albums because I guess they didn't realize it wasn't in stock until it didn't deliver. And we finally got it. And she's one of those amazing artists who has this amazing following, but she died too early. Like literally she was about to go mainstream when she died of a heart attack. And so this is, you know, one of the famous songs, 100 Days. People have heard her music, hear her music all the time in movies and TV shows and commercials and don't know it's her because um, like I said, she died before she went mainstream. I mean, she had an amazing career, just, you know, not because she was mainstream. So anyway, the next thing we picked up just because, Cindy Lapa. I love the, the picture on the back. This is her true colors, classic Cindy Lapa, and you know, why not? And the next one I'm really excited about, I'm gonna show you a little something that's on the inside of it, but this is the 20th anniversary of Maxwell's Now. All right, here we go, Maxwell. So I'm gonna show you two things on the inside of this. The record itself, you probably won't be able to see it, but this is Root Beer Brown. Yeah, you can't tell. I feel bad that you can't tell, but it is so pretty. Like, it's just really pretty. I like getting, you know, unique colored and, you know, designs of the vinyl, as long as it doesn't interfere with how it sounds, because sometimes it interferes with how it sounds, and I'm just not that impressed, <laughs> but this sounds amazing. This also came with this little booklet about him and some pictures and stuff. There was one picture in particular I wanted to share with you. I can find it real quick. And um, like many of us, he is no longer rocking his amazing afro. I miss mine sometimes, but I like this picture where you just kind of see him um, being Maxwell with his wonderful afro. So that's another thing that we got. Got a really good deal on it and excited about it. I actually heard that he's coming to my area soon. If I was a really like truly concert person, I would go. But every time I go to a concert, it's just so stressful. I, I do get out of my comfort zone sometimes and do it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. All right. So the next two things I'm excited about, and I'm getting close to wrapping this up. <laughs> um, so I have, let's see. Can you see? Yeah. So this is a tote that I got. My niece got one too. So twin totes. I love it. Aside from it being really cute, it has these two pockets on both ends that are great for holding drinks and phones and all that kind of jazz but it also has a pocket on the inside with a zipper to put like money and IDs and stuff like that. I'm gonna be carrying this sucker everywhere pretty much moving forward. <laughs> all right, and then the last thing, you probably see a picture of it already. I'm just trying to get it situated. Yeah, I've gotten it all buttoned weird. Let me just fix it real quick, but you can already see this is a Disney cardigan um, from the Lilo and Stitch movie. I was torn when I found this because I saw three of them and I couldn't get all three of them. So here is what this looks like. Hope you can see it. That's why I include the picture in the corner as well. But yes, I saw this one, the blue on blue for the Lilo and Stitch. I saw a black and gray one, which was Jack Skeleton. And then I saw like a kind of a maroonish and gold one, which was Winnie the Pooh. And I was just like at odds with myself. Like I can't leave here with all three of these, but I have to leave here with at least one of them. And it just came down to, I had to pick one. So I picked the blue one. <sighs> My heart was breaking because I wanted all three of them. Anyway, I don't need to be acquiring things all the time. You know, this is the material world, but I don't need to be a material girl. <laughs> With that said, that's been my haul. Uh, what did you guys think of some of the things I, I got? Um, what have you gotten lately? Let me know. And guys, stay safe out there. Be blessed.